Every spring, dozens of countries around the world suddenly set their clocks an hour ahead for daylight saving time. If billions of people are literally shifting time twice a year, there must be a pretty solid reason why we're doing it, right? Daylight saving time has always been pitched by the government as a way to save money on energy. More sunlight in the evening hours means less dependence on artificial lighting. It was first used during several months of World War I, and then brought back by FDR during World War II, when it was instituted year-round until the end of the war. It wasn't until 1966, when the Uniform Time Act was passed, that the U.S. began observing daylight saving time from spring to fall annually. It's because of the 2005 Energy Policy Act that daylight saving now begins during the second weekend of March and ends during the first weekend of November every year. But studies have found that adjusting our clocks doesn't really save us anything on energy use. What we save on lighting is negated by increased use of heat and air conditioning. When it's light out longer, we also tend to drive more, which means using more gas. Daylight saving extensions haven't been driven by energy costs. They've been driven by retailers who want to give consumers more daylight to shop, eat out, and play golf. And while that isn't necessarily a bad thing, there are costs associated with losing an hour every March. Studies have found that on the Monday after springing ahead, we see a spike in car accidents and heart attacks, and a lull in productivity. One study estimated that the time shift cost the U.S. over $430 million in lost productivity. And following daylight saving time doesn't optimally align daylight hours with normal hours of human activity. It actually makes it worse. With daylight saving time, the entire continental U.S. has a reasonable sunset time for a majority of the year. But many places only see reasonable sunrise times for less than half of the year. If we were to abolish daylight saving time, we would still have roughly the same number of days with acceptable sunsets, plus we'd have way more days with appropriate sunrise times. So while getting rid of daylight saving time might mean a little less time spent on the links in the summer, it could also mean a few less car accidents and a lot more pleasant mornings for the rest of the year.